This is Cyberpunk 2077 at release. And this is actually a decent police system. Remember when drones used to spawn behind you? Well, in 2023, after making half of the police force viable members of the workforce no more, I'm up against MaxTac. But Lucid, how is this possible? Where did you come from? <laughs> Well, let's sift through my 18 hours of Phantom Liberty content so I can paint you guys a vivid picture of all of that. As we're exploring one of the most detailed open worlds in gaming history, we came across several instances of occasional irregularities. I ask myself, can I get the perfect thumbnail? The answer, the game crashed, is no. Booted up my game again only to find that gravitational pull had me making a fool out of this NPC at the bottom of these stairs. Oh my gosh. After I antied up the difficulty, we found this one troglodytic sewer dweller. I guess he was playing Minecraft and didn't want me in his room because next thing I know... Oh, <gasps> oh my... I pass away, man. Now asking the real question, okay? Can we get five stars by unaliving a police officer right in the middle of an active crime scene? The answer is also no. And apparently the cops can, the cops are wizards now. So I'm like, screw this man, I'm out. I decided to walk around Night City when I get the worst migraine I've experienced in a decade. Leave me alone! Yes, yes, yes. Ah! It's this chick. She's called Songbird. 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 We know. It was Songbird. She's that one hacker on the enemy team that makes you ult her four because that's exactly what she did to Johnny right now. <laughs> Bruh. So here's the deal. She and the president are on board a spaceship that's been shot out of the sky, coming down hard, and wants us to go save her. Except, it's coming right at us. <laughs> We survive this. We're at the crash site, and we probably should use a gun, right? Oh. Wrong, my Borzois. One of the best things that came with Phantom Liberty was a 2.0 update that completely reworked and rebalanced the game. So, if you have enough stamina, you can make the AI look like it's having an existential crisis. So we go in, you know? Our deflect combos are on fleek, where we're deflecting. <laughs> Alright, so now we're out of sight. We need to sneak through this place. But we get caught! And it's not because I'm genuinely bad at stealth. No way! I'm having too much fun massacring everything without firing a single shot. I'm going in for the slam dunk. Oh. Next thing you know, we're in this massive warehouse with a huge tarp covering something in the middle. So, uh, <laughs> Akshoni is coming. More enemies surround us as we fight them off. But you remember that thing in the middle of the warehouse, right? Well, look at this. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, my God. And I'm thinking we're finally safe. But then this happens. And you know what? I'm not even the least bit surprised. Yeah, now we have to fight it. We ran until we couldn't no more, dropped this giant chandelier on the chimera, broke a few ribs in the process of falling several floors down, but V's a trooper, man. We we beat the damn thing, actually. But guess what? No. <laughs> oh. No. It's Chimera Phase 2. Only this time it can't walk and has little Healy drones and um a little bit of fracturance. At this point, I've had it up to here with the chimera. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely done with the chimera's proclivity to raise my freaking blood pressure, bro. I'ma send this bitch to horny jail. We drop a grenade down its bunghole and it implodes. And finally, we can get the story going. We're in these tunnels trying to find our way out, but. I just have to catch you guys lacking all the time. Why? I saw exactly where you guys were looking at, man. You can't deny it. Next thing you know, we're meeting a super special oh someone at the behest of Madam President. Who is this handsome guy? I've never seen him before. We bring him back, have a little chat, at which point they task me with saving birdsong. So, after asking Madam President to buy me dinner sometime, I came up with a list of things to do for us. Leave. 
Remember when I tried to get 5 stars earlier? Well, after making half of the police force viable members of the workforce no more, I'm finally facing Max Tack for the first time ever with a Witcher Sword, the Sandivistan, and one goal in mind. Seize that one to the system by the BOSS. But Lucid, you protest. You have but a sword! What are you gonna do, huh? With your fancy karate gimmicks, they have guns! Well, I brought that damn sword to the gunfight, and three of these undisciplined little twerps got a fine roll, dandy swell, jolly good old fashioned schooling, one resounding backhand at a time. I'm just a different breed. A fully equipped, factory authorized, hospital tested, clinically proven, scientifically formulated medical miracle. So the game's like. cool. It's Max Tack Phase 2, bitch. So, so they're looking at me from way over there like, Ah, uh, we are not amused. I make a beeline straight for the guy with the tonkiest armor and put one of them to sleep, son. And, and by that, I mean me. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I took leave of my senses because I chucked my bloody thermite grenade onto the ground and dipped my freaking tootsies in there. Now that we got that out of our system, we're at this party linked up with Songbird and she tells us how to rescue her. This French chick and her brother. We have to steal their identities, but in order to do that, we have to keep them talking while we scan 100% of their behavior. And we did it! Now I can practice my French accent. Oh shit, my voice. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, baby. I will show you the Eiffel Tower. I will show you my Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Fast forward a couple of hours. Bird song isn't doing too great. I'm dying. Help me. We're trudging away through this construction site, headed for an elevator. But wouldn't you know it? Old bird song is crawling along at the pace of a snail in a syrup bath. Yeah, just take your sweet time. It's not like we need to go anywhere right now. I mean, I won't mince words here. This part didn't just irk me a little. It genuinely, truly made me angry. They done me in once. They done me in twice. But. But, but but not the third time, okay? The third time I actually survived. <laughs> Just kidding, they done me in three times, my Borizois. You could practically hear the steam spewing out of my ears. I swear, she's literally in the way, I can't- I was bad at game until finally I wasn't and we can finally move on we walking up to this wide open area So I mean of course something's afoot. Nah, bro. I don't trust this What the hell? They sent wave after wave of enemies. We're literally at the climax of the quest, okay? And the realization slowly sets in that I probably should have put my cyber deck back in place of the Sandivistan 18 hours ago to quick hack instead of slow down time. So there's a little bit of kicking, a little bit of punching, a little bit of vomit in the air. The soundtrack here is pretty good though, but I muted it for the video. I'll just add it in myself. That didn't stop me from expiring like a magazine subscription though. How? What the f After we make enough of these enemies viable members of their armed forces no more, we get to walk away with the most overpowered ability in the game. And you all remember when I said the game can have occasional irregularities? I want to call this guy... I'm gonna call him Pop Skadoodle Noodle Dude. And he would like to say... Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you all in the next one.